happy new week guys we are back again as trending gh we're bringing you all the trends from this week and now who took a swipe at all the guardian producers who are not paying him his money <laughs> we have all the details and also what is our, our moment for this week our shade of the week and what they have but also we got some very sad news during the weekend and we will talk about it all so make sure to stick with us we will be right back as trending gh we are coming Welcome back guys. How was your week? Tell us in the comment section below. Definitely, definitely. And also this week, um, we got a lot of comments and feedback from you last mm -hmm. week, which was very, very exciting. We really love the fact that you are watching and telling us what you think. So please do not hesitate to drop in Always the comments. Always let us know what you think. Tell us what, what we're doing right, what we're doing wrong. And also please comment on the stories that we bring let to you. Let us know, yes. The trends, what you think about them. So, with that being said, let's jump right into, into. it. Because, oh, this week. <laughs> There's been a lot. Mr. Interviewer, ask me better questions. <laughs> let's get into the better questions and the better stories. So, if you guys um, did not see the video, um, veteran actor Kofi Ajololo is mad. Okay. Lord, that came out about mad, not like mad, mad, but oh. mad, angry, mad. <laughs> Just get it out first. Right, not mad. He's <laughs> angry. He's he's had enough. Practically, he says he over um you people. Then that here the movie producers, you know. I say, what you feel now? You don't pay. <laughs> An old man like him, he'll sacrifice his time, his talent, and be on your sets, and you don't want to pay him. Seven Ghanaian producers. We want to know the names of those people, right? Like, yeah, he didn't say, but right. I think his allegation still stands. Right. And uh, I think considering a crippling mm -hmm. movie industry, you would like to know mm -hmm. that at least the people are still participants will be paid. Because mm -hmm. uh, Ajololo has paid his dues. Mm -hmm. He's not some new actor. I mean, he's mm -hmm. been there for a long time, one of the pioneers. Mm -hmm. So I think you would do well just to pay him, to keep him in the business. I personally feel like if you're going to come out, and get angry and make such allegations just come with facts mm -hmm. come with names of people who haven't paid you what movies uh, you know like scripts they gave you you know roles that you you played that they refused to pay you and all that just come out with facts but i think with what he said to apart from the he made it general even said the new actors don't get paid and drug of your low fame has also come out to say producers don't pay that's why he's not in movies lately mention the names of those producers you think yeah name and shame is the way to go exactly I have a point i think if you do that you know um dkb came out to name he actually yeah, named yeah. and said kobe rana invited him to play a role in a movie he was shooting back in 2017, I think. He charged 2,000 yeah. cities. Kobe said, no, I can't pay you that. And then he said, okay, you come. I'll give you 500 cities for full. And even that 500 cities for didn't come. it never came. So I Yet think you've at smeared this, this point, movie across the country, <laughs> gained money. It's only right to pay. And that's the thing. I think if it were back in the day, I mean, I wouldn't be so, you know, vocal about this whole issue. But this is a new era for the Ghanaian movie. We're commercializing your movies. At exactly. least it's not there, but it's something. We've it's not made like move. back in the day where you, you guys didn't have any sponsors or anything like that. Now you premium movies for like a whole, some of you premium And some like for probably like even doesn't do it in cinema schools. Schools. So mm -hmm. all nation, and nationwide. Sponsors, uh, so at least you're making some money out of it. So it's only mm -hmm. right that you pay these true. actors their due. True, true. Yeah. You have a point. Anyways, um, the Film Producers Association of Ghana. Have you know responded to Kofi Adolulu's claim, telling him that if he's not going to come out to say who and who is owing him, then he shouldn't be out there tarnishing the image of other Ghanaian producers who might actually be paying people that work for them. So let, let us know. Do you, do you honestly think? I mean, it's part of a conversation on Twitter where people mm -hmm. were asking if Kofi is saying that the young actors and actresses are not being paid. How do they live the lavish lifestyles that they portray? It is social on, on media. Social media you it know? is social media. Make believe. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. They are in a freaking state. And, and listen to the amount that they, some of them mention when they say like they charge for movies. Emilia Grove was asked in, you know, I think it was at the same event in the same, in this, you know, like separate interview. And she mentioned she charges 
3,000 to 3,500 a script. How many scripts or how many movies does she star in in a year? Yeah. But look, at how how much is 3,000 cities? So? But I think how when they are, last exactly. But I think when they are drawn, it gives you some all. visibility. So then you're able to venture into other... Not if you've been in the industry for long. Yeah. I mean, if you are a new coming act, actor and you say it will give me visibility, I'll accept that. But Emilia from Kumawood all these years, please. No, no, Mama really McBrown. Please. Mama yeah. McBrown is like I, the nation's baby. She, Everybody loves she her. She is. And she has so many things to her name. It's mm -hmm. not just acting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The number of money, I'm sure the amount well, of money she takes from High Sense. Leader of know. Emily Gang is also <laughs> spreading. So now there's music. And she be a, I don't know. Never, yeah. exactly. But guys, uh, as JQ said, let us know what you think. Was Kofi Ajololo right to come out and, you know, without our best? <laughs> Should he have mentioned names? Is the is it Fipak, the film producers? Yeah. Are they right to Please. put, uh, you know, I a don't even get him? it. With it, all the problems this movie that she's <laughs> going through, you only like raise your head in situations like this. Mm -hmm. What are you even doing? There have been other things that have come up, and you guys have been silent exactly about it. My point. And this is the only thing that you guys think you know should it's... come out there. <laughs> Those people so are just giving Kofi Adjololo a 14 day ban. I mean, no, no 14 day notice to come out and mention names. And yes, sir, they will ban him. Look at the way to him. Like, like, all the ban him. They have a ban him. What the F? Let's move to another segment of what the F was. No mass. I mean, what the F? Anyways, what the F on this week has to do with... My people. Has to do with... My people. This is what we need to know. The world is so... No. We are so, we are so sad, but... Apparently, these people take up. Who is these people? I'm sorry. Please, I can't identify. <laughs> identify us. Identify Please, my Kumasi. The people good people of, of Kumasi. Kumasi. I like that. Okay, I town. like that. The good people of Kumasi. Thank yeah. you very much. You know, we take things personal. <laughs> I said, we're different. So, we a coffee. We have a cold coffee. So, it's a moon house. Coffee, be the anarchy. Exactly. It's also a freezing. But anyway, watch the video and let us know what the app. Oh! 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 Tigers, tigers, ah, 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 copy, copy. Hi, guys, welcome back. Now, this particular issue is not for change. I have uh, decided to keep my mouth shut because uh, you see my British accent has come. Yeah, my show them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Boulder was a pundit on Miss G's uh, program and he made some damning comments that has kept, you know, Ghanaians mm -hmm. have reacted in, mm -hmm. you know, mixed reactions to the whole issue. So Bulldog, a man who is raising two daughters, believes mm. that the girl's place or the woman's place is in the bedroom and the kitchen. Mm. In the 21st century, my blood is boiling at the moment. He's raising two daughters, whom I believe he's paying so much money for for them to go like. to school. And he's saying that a woman's place is in the kitchen or in the bedroom. Mm. You Why? know, you know the funny thing is, you already know my stance on gender equality and gender rights. But you would think it's so aged, yeah, for a man of his caliber, like educated like that, is to he even educated? to a point. To mm -hmm. spew this utter nonsense, because that's what it is. It is nonsense. It is, like, and sometimes I really just feel sad for him, because I really feel like this is from a perspective of upbringing and the woman she, he's had around him all his life. Maybe the woman he's had around him makes him believe that they are best in the kitchen and in the bedroom. Mm. But if you know women, exceptional women, even JQ and Zinata example, you will know that they are just not worthy to be there. It's like crippling their potential. They are mm -hmm. powerful. And it's just sad. And it's so sad he's raising two daughters. And it's sad that the entertainment show he was on, Spewing This Nonsense, was hosted by a woman. Mm -hmm. And she didn't even say anything. She didn't she, say anything. That she was she my problem. The issue. That was my problem. She should have come out to, you know, like ask him questions. And during the moment where I realized I'm not even going to say anything was when Bulldog said, his wife can divorce him if he wants for saying this. 
That is what he said. Mm. Wow. I mean, I don't know about the woman, but wow. This goes a long way. And this man was so bothered about Shatawali leaving him. Then he's not bothered about his wife leaving <laughs> him. <laughs> right. <laughs> like misplaced priorities. You over we, but guys, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, are you raising your daughters to be in the kitchen? Oh, the and the funny or? thing is, uh, when Miji said that now women CEOs, this man said it's a political tactic to soften the company. <laughs> <laughs> like... Like, no, like, Jay, honestly, sorting the company, like, how? Like, it's for glory. Like, that's why they're there. They don't go add anything. They're just there, keke. Mm-hmm. Ah. And with mindsets like this, you, you, you guys think Ghana will ever get a female president? Mm-hmm. It is going to take a long time. 21st century. 21st century. <laughs> Are we having a funeral? The way she's doing. <laughs> when your funeral, I'm Please. not going on. <laughs> I'm sure that you are... Like, I, 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 I can't understand how a human being can be so dumb. I've said it. Like, literally. Unapologetically. <laughs> That is it. No, the funny thing is, maybe we, I don't know, but you guys are both exceptional in the bedroom and in the kitchen. Hey, 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 hey. Did we tell you? Please, I know. <laughs> you, see, you see the way that's shutting me up. You see the way that's shutting me up. It's our next episode. I know. I know what they and do. This is the best. <laughs> the best thing to happen in the show today. Wow. <laughs> what? The F. Uh, what, what was he thinking? thinking? But it's equally what the F. Because what the F? I mean. <laughs> you know the man the man is a legend <laughs> it takes some level of <laughs> courage <laughs> courage then. like a kukudu <laughs> as a reform like a kukudu I did not know this when you watch too much suits Boston Lee how do you get away with murder <laughs> this is what you would do so guys a lawyer a fake lawyer <laughs> I've never had a fake lawyer. I've had fake doctor, fake nurse, but fake lawyer means he has glammed apple. Wash away the shit. Wash your clothes. Head to toe. So, lawyer, agree. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so dangerous. Yeah, yeah. And according to the law, there was a convicted man who was standing trial. I don't think you can't afford legal fees, so if it's a relative who... It's a one-can't James on your lawyer. One-can't open stuff. Mm. So, lawyer, Idrisu. Fake lawyer. Fake lawyer, Idrisu. Fake ESQ. <laughs> Dressed up, slammed up, <laughs> took his dark shades, and went That's to... That's what his... killed me. And went to the and got... <laughs> He was waiting for his case to be called. <laughs> for sitting... Sitting, sitting. Then, uh, the you looked at his face. He said, "This man is yeah. a fraud." I've never seen you, my God, before. You are a fraud. Come here, come. <laughs> so Idris <laughs> went, and the question Idris, mm-hmm. Idris, remove your glasses and look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? This narration is everything. <laughs> remove your glasses and look at me. <laughs> you start. You see my feet. <laughs> so uh, Idris is reaction. Yes. <laughs> He's has come. He's, he's been arrested. The lawyer has been convicted. <laughs> no, he's not yet been convicted. He has to stand trial to be convicted. He's been arrested. You know, say any ever court. I know where they ever court because Obia was hey. he tried the whole court system, legal system. In I feel like this is this is the case where you can say, "Can I defend myself?" And the lawyer can shut up. Defend me. You can. Guys, what was lawyer I do? I mean, okay, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> Guys, you're welcome back. It's still trending GH and definitely our next story is sad and very, very devastating. So Ghana lost the legend. Uh, in no doubt a real legend. Kofi is a legend. Is he? I think he is. I what? mean, if you loved his music. What legendary you know, the funny thing stuff is, did he leave behind? His him? music is legendary. He left a whole discography that will live with people forever. Oh. And I don't know if you are a fan, but okay. people who are fans of Kofi know that he's a legend. Okay. And you're even going to say, he was at a time where you wouldn't be on interviews so much, you wouldn't be on streaming services, so maybe his impact is not so felt. But mm-hmm. Kofi is still a legend for those who loved him. Okay, for those who loved him. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a fair point. Exactly, thank you very much. But oh. yes, he, we lost Kofi over the week. And you know the funny thing is, when people actually started giving their condolences, then people started to ask questions. Why aren't the same people who are posting Kobe Bryant now posting Kofi B? Is he not a Ghanaian? Which I didn't get. I didn't know how 
grief was assigned to nationalities. Or even um, statuses. In exactly. Society. People are allowed to yeah. grieve with who they want to grieve about. Mm -hmm. People are allowed to be sad about what they want to be sad about. And you can't expect everybody to be sad because Kofi is a Ghanaian. Sure. People didn't even know him. These kids are just listening to yeah. Kwame Yujin and Kitty all that. But I think what people should be more sad about is the circumstances, you of know, his death. you know, leading to his death. The whole, he had the high blood pressure, he had gone to perform, he was to perform at an event and then, you know, came back and then the whole thing. I think it's just sad that even to the very last minute he was doing what, was doing he, what loved, he loved, you know, he was following his passion, which was music. Even though he, he didn't have songs that were trending, he was still, like you said, he was yeah. still riding on the the, the, the successes of his old songs. songs from 20 to 15 to 10 years ago. And he was still relevant and he was doing what he this loved thing. and then he died. So I think it's more of appreciating the fact that um, he, 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 he did what he loved to the yeah. end. And yeah. you know, we should celebrate more There is beauty in that. Right. We should celebrate more of that than who is mourning more. <laughs> exactly. And, who is, and then the whole, this is saying this, this, this happened, the family said this is happening, Kofi no. said this is happening. Let's just remember the person for the talent. Let's their, celebrate the yeah, life yeah, more that we than, think we changed. More than whatever that goes on. So, I mean, I hope, um, I wouldn't say I'm expecting his funeral to be like everybody's. Uh. You know, like yeah. the whole state and all, but I hope um, he the Ghana musician, uh, music, music, and all of those people come together and give him a, a very big face yeah. and burial. For, um, burial. Yeah. 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 So, let's move on from the sadness. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Our next segment is all moment, and trust me, today's all moment will really make you go all. I think right. people have been waiting for this. Fans of our shop. They have been waiting and Even there it goes. Even full package, we, are, we, are, we like it like that. I exactly. mean, I think Nadia has made us accustomed to now we're okay with it. Mm -hmm. Show us the hair, show us the back fingers and we'll we oh. cut and say, oh. Um, so, actress and radio host now are Shoko, who has two kids now, by the way. We never saw the first one mm -hmm. and we never, we've never, we haven't seen the second one. I don't know so which, which one. Which one is this one? This is the second. This is the second. Second, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, she's shooting some skits for Yamvita Ghana uh -huh. and I think she was doing this particular one with her adorable son. I mean, and the so way cute. they are. Maybe you're going to see the, uh, oh. his face in there. It's yes. out, but I'm most impressed with Nasha because you know, um, weight loss after birth because she looks way mm -hmm. thinner mm -hmm. than when she even you know shot up because she looks really really cool. Like, she looks really good. working out, yeah. Ella. I've been yeah. following her oh. fitness journey. She wow. looks really cool. So, it's yeah. nice. It's out from Nasha to the baby. Ow, ow, to ow, ow, package. ow, ow. ow. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. It's still trading GH, and we are moving into our mm -hmm. next story, which has to do with the um, hundred most, most influential Ghanaian list, which by was Avans yeah, Media, Media, which was released in the course of the week. I think it's that third one. No, third. Yeah, so my yeah. They've I think done so. more than three. They've been doing it for quite a while mm. now. Yeah. I really. Yeah, but this year, fight. this year's one has you know got a lot of people talking. People are green and people disagreeing and mm -hmm. all over mm -hmm. the place. And number one on the list is Kofi Kenata, which is quite um because I mean no doubt we think he's great, he's influential. But number one, what is the list based on? How are these exactly. people's influence assessed? Wow, is that shocking? <laughs> Kofi Kenata. <laughs> Anyway, well, Bella Mooney yeah. was so second, hard. and he's the she is the most influential female personality in Ghana, which is I think Bella has earned it, mm. or hasn't she? Most influential female. What is the influence yet again? The question is, what are these people Be obsessed you. on? Be, I think Bella Mooney's one is is it be you or beautiful or something like which that? Which has a okay. Anyways, I'm, I'm don't go there. Yeah, I'm just keeping quiet because you, if you spill, you will say something you can't take speak. back. I feel, I feel this is the reason why um, DKB has come mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. you know the media and the group because if you are not giving people what these people's um, positions are based on and why they are there, then there's really no need for you to just come and push a list on me and say that this person is influential. Why is the person influential? But I do have a problem with when DKB. When Forbes does their list, they, they let you know why they explain. 
all the things the that achievements the and everything. The achievements and everything. This is why we are naming this person this. True. But now they also have a problem. We don't just come out with... and say this person and put it in our faces. Yeah, we should yeah. take yeah. it. Like like celebrate it. the people. Yeah. Yeah. But DKB's problem was with the fact that they didn't even like, the put him on the list. No. Because he's contributed so much to Ghanaian comedy, and I'm like, you know what? I'm sure, so like, we get it, you are trying, but if you're all going to be honest, the comedy industry is not as his peak, and maybe that's why you're not even there yet. And he was pushing for other comedians to be there. I'm like, really, who? But yeah, what, guys, yeah, what do you that? think? <laughs> Let us know. Is the list, do you agree with us? Do you think, like, have you, you seen it? Of Ikenata, based on conf uh, things fall apart, things fall apart. <laughs> <Based on laughs> They accuse you of saying it. Influential person in Ghana. Do you agree? Do you Who agree? should have been on the list? Exactly. Yeah. Do you think DKB should have been there? Right. Let us know. Let us know. <laughs> and let's move on to something that is hot and heavy oh. influential in that sense. Hey, hey. hotter influential. Hey, I, in that sense, really an influencer. That's right. Body yeah. just, body just ginger. Yvonne is, anyway, sexy. Yvonne is sexy. Sexy, sexy. Hasn't she always been sexy? She has always. No, been. I like the fact that now she just likes to remind, he remind us once in a while that she is Yvonne Nelson. As as of before, when she was like, boom, 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 giving us red carpet looks, photo shoots, but now as of a more. Satel, and when the time comes, she just comes out. She's too. one. She's uh, one of the celebrities whom, like, I admire for for their style. It's so laid back. Laid back. Like, she doesn't have to do too much. Mm -hmm. It's just it's, it's cheek and it's nice. And yeah. this picture was mm, everything. 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 The legs. The, the hair. hair the makeup, blowing in. Location. <laughs> hot me out. Hey. Hot, me hot, hot. hot me. Out, hot me in. Hot, hot, hot. I'm wrapping my head around that. Can we be <laughs> <fire. laughs> <laughs> So, guys, even though we are laughing, this is not laughing joke. Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> Corolla 2020 registered virus now. Nah. Made in China. Made in China now. Nah, you're so <laughs> yeah, I am so I am this is very rude. One country at a time. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this is what I like to talk about this virus. Right, so coronavirus. <laughs> it's not like a China made food. <laughs> no, no, no. We are talking about a virus. So, you know, so many cases in China, so many mm -hmm. cases in other parts of mm -hmm. the world mm -hmm. and it is causing so much fear and panic mm -hmm. and now the panic has got into ghana mm -hmm. so um at the kolebu teaching hospital there were you know two foreign nationals who were suspected to have been carrying the virus but after the test and everything they tested negative so mm -hmm. thank god for that mm -hmm. but i think KIA which is Kotoka International Airport. Shoot. This is the time. Exactly. This care alone should make them set up and actually, mm. you know, screen people. Screen people, especially people right. coming is, from is, infected is, countries. Yeah. Which is very strange because I have a friend in China and he came down, I think, last week. And then I was like, oh, are you okay? He said, he sounds like, so did they do anything when you get to the point? I was like, no, no. Like, they didn't do anything. I'm like... You know, somebody actually yeah. asked on Twitter what uh, yeah, they are crazy. doing about it. And somebody <laughs> retweeted and said, Nyami Beye double package. Right, Ghana. Yeah, doing Nyami Beye. Nyami Beye. Yeah, Nyami Beye. 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 Nyami Beye decided he wouldn't continue with the trip. I mean... I mean, it's, it's, it's just normal. Because it's just strong it's, 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 it's what's happening. Yeah. People yeah. are yes. scared. And I feel like the... The, this is this is when I always have an issue with the NCCE because they're supposed to educate the of things exactly. and everything will leave the Ministry of Health and Statement, but they are not educated. People are not being educated. Like, they are not even like, advanced. You need to take more office. Exactly. More right. They are not even videos on TV educating people. Just on what you say, mainstream media. It's okay sometimes do something other than the but if they don't interviews. Have the right, if, if they don't have the right information from the Ministry you know, of Health, like I get it. Yeah, but now I think the the information is. On in, on the internet on guy, Google. Guy, guy, Ghanaians don't read. 
Can so my whole point is, so my whole point is, I feel like mainstream media, you know, instead of having interviews where somebody will come and spill nonsense about how women belong in the kitchen and everything, you can so just take drama, a wait, little so time. Drama is not like, let's say, social media survey or even that don't exactly. watch um, TV that often, then they don't get the. So I'm not, I'm not saying that's everything that needs to be done, but that's something that can be done. Then individuals, my the point is, individuals can do it. The Ministry of Health. I don't know if you've ever lived in a community where in the evening or at dawn there are cars with Dance. speakers mm -hmm. moving around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We are bar, who that says should be near. done. That is the point I am literally And I get making. it. And yeah. I, I'm just saying that aside that since it's not being done, mm -hmm. we can also try the mainstream media because I, I understand what you're that saying. That the information media, you might not be... That's what I'm saying. Everywhere. Social media. Your government can't be on social. Mm -hmm. But we're radio. We're a bit radio. And maybe we'll be TV. So I'm just saying that sometimes they can do something. And I understand that you are afraid of the information not being credible. But this is the case where it's a world issue yeah, so the likes of credible stations and information yeah. outlets well, have made it available i mean when they, they 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 used to have videos of about yeah, cholera that's what I'm and saying. malaria and, and all those they should do something doing something before we are hit with this you know epidemic because i don't think we can do that I don't do think it, and Trevor Noah made a joke and said the reason why okay. the virus is there in Africa is because when they get to the airport, they say, Ha! Corona! I am the virus here! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, stay there, so stay where you are! But guys, be safe out there. Don't talk to Chinese. <laughs> that is <laughs> racist, man! That is racist! And also, the Chinese people <laughs> <that is lying. laughs> to Chinese. The Chinese people walking around with face masks. They are scaring us. Because if you are Chinese and you have a face mask, when I have face masks, when I see you, I presume, hey, you're probably a lady. I will go to you. know you. what? I, mean, I mean, you have a point. Put down on the face mask. So don't dance for you. Don't but please, not every Chinese is yeah. but guys, let's, infected let's with the virus. Let's make research. Let's... You know, but I wash your hands daily. I know that. Wash your hands daily. If yeah. you are sneezing, make sure that you Stop cover. Eating. Stop eating. Stop eating animals that... Oh, well, I wonder if like, somebody's know. coming for me. <laughs> I well, like somebody's coming for us for our conversation and let's die in the office. But yeah, <laughs> <I'm happy. laughs> Thank you so much for sticking with us this week. It's mm -hmm. been so much fun bringing you all the change. Definitely. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Amiya TV, and YouTube is Amiya TV official. official. And of course, AmiyaDebra.com every single day for all your entertainment. Hey, Definitely. Yeah. To, uh, to that, what I've said, put it where you want to put it. But my hair, my hat is saying Kuba, even though my pocket is saying Hacho. But hey, hey, we you know what I mean. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>